Well, seeing the water spread out across the landscape is pretty gratifying. The recovery rate is, is stunning once you put water back on the landscape. It will be unrecognizable in a year. It just spreads naturally across this huge floodplain. It's a fabulous system. Waterfowl must just think this is the best ever. What we've done here in phase one of the project is to eliminate over 17 miles of, of deeply incised gullies where the channel is cut deeply into the soft alluvial soils. That has a tendency to dry out the surrounding landscape. By putting the water back on the surface in small remnant channels, it tends to spread broadly across the floodplain, dissipate the energy of flood flows, reduce the sediment input to the system, and slow the water down, basically put the brakes on water that flows across the floodplain surface during flood flows. So by doing that, it's absorbed into the surrounding landscape. We increase the groundwater elevation um, within the meadow, and it's released more slowly, more gradually over a longer period of time. It's our belief that these type of projects that tend to put the brakes on flood flows, slow down water movement, restore groundwater levels, have a tendency to have profound effects for downstream water users all the way to the delta. We see water spread across the floodplain, although we only have a, a short field of vision here. This same theme continues across the entire 3,000 feet of floodplain at the point we're now standing, creating quite the uh, mecca for the uh, migratory waterfowl. We saw at least a thousand birds come up right wow. there, I think, so that was pretty good.